So, are you excited? I'm excited. <laughs> I'm on the way to the gun range, man. I gotta be honest, it's my first time ever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this distance, I'm already hearing shots fired. <laughs> yeah. Let's go check it out. Let's see how the professionals do the thing, eh? So, is this where I sign up, officer? Because I, I would like to sign up too, you know? Right here. Access some training and things. There's this spot. Right here. Like, like. Do I need to pay it now, or I could owe you? Cash only. No, no, no. Wait, you're talking about signing up. What are you talking about? It's specifically signing up to be part Sign of the competition. Competition that the whole the whole works. The whole works. Okay. I mean, can I can I take part in the competition even though I I am not you know a licensed owner? Or no, 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 no. I, we cannot encourage um license. Non-licensed holders to be engaged in something of this sort. Mm -hmm. So you have to have a firm, mm -hmm. and then it is open to everyone. In terms of signing up, where the competition is concerned, you can sign up right here. Anyone can just come here and sign up. Or you can sign up at the, the office in Kingston Central Police Station. Unfortunately, today being a holiday, that opportunity will not be there any longer. So for all intents and purposes, signing up will be done here. Today yeah, and so Monday morning. And yeah. how much? How much is signing up? How, how much is the competition? For the competition. Yeah. Only ten dollars. Only ten dollars. Yes. Okay. All right. And and One if month. I want to, if I want to apply to the the board for my license, um, can I do it on the range or do I do it at the office in Kingston? You do it at the office in Kingston. You can go to the office of the um, national security. And you fill in your application form there. That's and the Ministry of National Security. Ministry of National Security, yes. And it, the process is guided from there onwards. <laughs> they will direct you as to what you need to present to the office and what needs to be done and so on and so on. Right. On the word of command, what and shoot, what and shoot, sag it up. Just for us? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Angus Morris, Inspector of Police. Right, 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 right. right, right, right. I'm, I'm, I'm currently um, in charge of the firearms range and everything firearm related in the police force. Um, reason everything. Okay. Got you, got you, got you. We, we are um, instructors. Everybody that's here, all the officers who are represented here? No, because we have um, police that, that came on the range now, this morning, mm -hmm. to practice the shoot. Okay. To the Monday. Okay, right, right, right. Please. These men, mm -hmm. myself, Carl Lewis right here, and uh, Mr. Hardaway. Mm -hmm. Mr. Hardaway met when he came in. Mm -hmm. We are instructors. Okay. Okay. So, um, we teach you how to handle, mm -hmm. handle including, Pop. teach you the parts and the weapon. We teach you Pop. how to use the weapon, markmanship, 
cleaning everything that you should know basically everything that is basic things that you should know about the weapon we teach you and all the instruction happen here at the range yeah theory up and in the shed and then you come down under the back um the, is there a fee to 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 for this particular yes. service the, um if you are not a member of the association like now that we have license for firearm holders if they are not members of the association every time you come to use the range you have to pay $25 and dollar for a round so if you shoot 50 rounds, $50 um, so you have, you have to make sure you pack a truck when you come in if you are not a member or, 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 or there is an additional cost if you are not a member <laughs> so as a member it, it, yeah. it, it is included in your membership dues the, the, the cost per round? no Okay. Just to use the range. Okay. Um, let me say the first year is two hundred and fifty dollars. After that, it's fifty dollars a year. If you're not a member, just imagine this. If you're not a member, mm -hmm. you may come more than twice, and that would be more than fifty dollars. If you and, and if you're not a member, you come two times, it's fifty dollars. If you're a member, you come a hundred times for the year, it's still fifty dollars. Right. You come down here, you buy a wrong, a one. You buy any amount of wrongs you want to shoot, one dollar per wrong. Come down here. You can get guided. You can get guidance while mm -hmm. you're down here shooting as a firearm um, licensee, license holder. Or you come down and you shoot. Okay. Your comfort. Um, the, uh, in terms of the the actual firearms being being used, um, is there a, a, a particular restriction on what kind of guns could could come in here? How, how is this going? So range. Mm -hmm. Well, um, whatever weapon you are licensed to carry, you bring it. Okay. If you are not a license holder, but you are, um, but you are granted approval and you are trained by us, you can come, buy your ammunition, and we'll lend you a weapon. Okay. Yeah. Didn't know that. Because we know that you uh, you can use the weapon efficiently. You can be trained. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, if you know this is setting, look quite comfortable. Mm -hmm. Clean and, and mark and so on last week. In preparation for the uh, you competition keep, on Monday. You keep telling me about this competition on Monday, yeah. boy. Talk to yeah, me about because, this competition uh, on Monday. We, what? We, we, what? Well, I've been in charge of the range since November last year. Mm -hmm. And the competition on Monday will be the biggest event. And that's the biggest, um, not in terms of crowd, mm -hmm. because it's not always COVID. It's not in terms of crowd. Um, the, the, the licensed firearm holders just want to do something different. Because most of the time when they come out here, when they come out here on, on a Saturday, Saturday or Wednesday afternoon, is to shoot targets. Just most of them shoot stationary targets. Unless they request to shoot turning, because the targets can turn. Unless they request to shoot turning targets. Um, but on Monday, they won't have to request anything. We have different instructions that shoot. So, they, so as long as you come on the firing line here, you have to follow the shoot. Everybody. Mm -hmm. So um, everybody will doing the same thing and prizes will be awarded at the end. We are allowing registration up to Monday morning before the shoot. Because you know some people, um, maybe they don't know if they'll be off. Uh, um, they, they, want, they are not sure. Boy, I wonder if I should take part, boy. I wonder if I could really shoot. I wonder if I could make it. I wonder if I could embarrass myself. And then Monday morning, I get all the confidence. And then they come and shoot. <laughs> we'll be doing four different shoots mm -hmm. on Monday. Mm -hmm. um, the first three shoots, the, the top three persons will be awarded prizes. And the fourth shoot, and the fourth shoot, mm -hmm. they will be awarded prizes. If the, 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 um, the first prize is $300. So if the first prize winner happens to be a female, we're giving them $400. <laughs> All yes. of us, we wish that the woman the females can come out and um we want to use embarrass the males <laughs> <laughs> with all things going on gun related in st vincent and the grenadines why is it that the national firearm association is celebrating a gunshot at this point interesting question the national firearm association are encouraging licensed firearm holders to come out and have an opportunity to engage target to enhance you know harness their skills and so on and the 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 competition is just to really motivate persons to, to come out and be part of the activity on the day 
as a matter of fact, um, persons who aren't even who are not members of the association, we are encouraging them to come out and and to be part of the activity. At the end, it is our hope that they will see some sort of um, profit, some sort of benefit incentive in, in the in the trust, and then become members of the association. Because once you become a member of the association, there are benefits for you to 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 be able to. How should I put it? There are benefits for you as a member of the association. Ultimately, the the, the, the sole benefit from an individual standpoint should be able to effectively and safely use the firearm. That's the objective. And, and when they come here, they are exposed to the training that will make them competent firearm holders. So, it, even though they are not anything financially at the end of the day, the whole aspect, the whole issue of you having a firearm and be able to take a firearm from point A to point B and use it when need arises in, in a, and conduct yourself, you know, in a, in, a, in a manner that is in keeping with, with someone who has a firearm license. Not to go out and brandish and, you know, display ignorance and that sort of thing and so on. You do not want someone to just turn up and say, I want to have a firearm and then you endorse that just so. So all the screening, all the background check, proper investigation conducted and we see that you would have made measures, put measures in place to mitigate against these sort of acts and yet still, you know, the criminal are not deterred and your home is subject, your family is subject, your property is subject. Um, your temperament will come into, into being and hence the whole reason behind your background activity whether you would have been criminally inclined, criminally engaged all these factors will come to bear and then you, you are evaluated before a board